My name is Martha Friedman. My studio is in Brooklyn, New York. And the title of this exhibition is Poor. There's performance, there's backdrops, there's sculpture, there's movement, there's lighting. Like it's the first time I've really been able to bring them all together in this one space for an experimental experience. Like I've just never been given that opportunity before. And it's sort of a dream come true to be able to try all these things. And it slowly developed into a piece about that magician's trick where a woman gets put in a box and cut into thirds or halves. That led me to start to learn about uh, the humors, which basically up until the 1800s, it was thought that you had these four humors in your body and they were four different liquids. There was blood, black bile, yellow bile, and phlegm. I learned about Balanchine's ballet, The Four Temperaments, and decided I wanted to make a project that dealt with rubber, liquid, the body, and the four humors. So rubber is something I've been using in my work for many years. It has always been sort of a stand-in for the body. It has a kind of corporeal quality. I've used steel and concrete in other works as a sort of foil to the rubber, something that can put pressure on the rubber, that can push against the rubber. Silas does about a five to seven minute dance inside each one of these pores. We choreograph them to be in keeping with that temperament that that humor supposedly represents. So the yellow bile is choleric. It's, um, the dance is very vertical, it's very proud. Or the phlegmatic sort of quadrant. We thought a lot about being spineless and slow. The blood pour, which is behind me, which is about pleasure and passion. The black bile area, which is melancholy, it's melancholic, and so it's sort of a series of through many death scenes that he just kind of repeats. When Silas is in the sculpture or the mannequin is sort of in the sculpture, it's the body sort of been inverted and the liquid inside has kind of become the environment that holds the body or covers the body or decorates the body. What's on the inside is now kind of creating the context for the body.